Hey everyone, it's King TBP here. Welcome back to another Mobile Legends video. This video is going to be interesting because in this game, I'll be playing Harley. Harley is a really strong mage now. His burst what makes him a dangerous threat because Harley's damage is utterly insane. With his burst skills, he can easily one-shot any squishy heroes, even tank as well. Usually, whenever I play Harley, I like to play him more for mage support. But in this game, I'll be playing him as the jungler. It's better to prioritize myself to take the purple buff first, especially in the early game. And then, I could clear the minion wave afterwards. Okay, I already reached level 4 now, which that means I can find my target. But I have some several choices, either I gank the mid lane or the top lane, but I chose the ladder, since my teammate can easily gank the mid lane, and also my teammate marksman Yi Sun Xian was able to handle his lane very well. I decided to roam to the bottom lane instead, because my teammate Hayabusa have some trouble facing the enemy Fovius. Instead of me showing myself to the map, try using the bush as your advantage. That way, the enemies will not able to find you. With that advantage, you can easily surprise them without letting them escape. Hanabi thought she was able to play sneaky there, but I was able to get myself an easy kill, and plus, she had a low HP. It's better to kill the easy target first. My teammate Hayabusa was able to load down the enemy Fovius HP. This was possibly a good idea for me to rotate to the bottom lane. I could have easily killed him there, but I didn't want to overcommit because if I do that, I might get myself in a dangerous situation. And also, if you guys pay attention on the map, the enemy marksman Hanabi was also at the bottom lane as well. So it wasn't a good idea for me to fight. Here, while I was clearing the wave, my teammates were engaging a fight and I saw some of the enemies had a low HP. Remember, always pay attention on the map at all times. If you don't, then opportunities like this might come to waste and the enemies can easily walk away unharmed. Remember, when playing as a hyper carry, your main priority is to get objectives in the game and also try your best to get some kills as well. By doing that, it will make your team a lot easier to help you to win the game. I saw the enemy marksman Leslie taking the purple buff. I thought I could easily kill her. I wanted to ult the enemy marksman Leslie there, but I didn't expect Vale would be in the bush as well. It wasn't the right target, but killing the mage Vale was already good enough. We killed two of the enemies, Leslie and also Vale, and for the bonus, we stole their purple buff. How intriguing. It's better to take the turret when you have the chance. Taking down the turret will make the game a lot easier for me and also for my teammates. Okay, I wanted to pull the enemy Leslie, but unfortunately for me, I aimed my first skill to the wrong target because Vale was there as well. If I aimed my first skill towards Leslie there, I would have definitely killed her. But with that mistake, Leslie survived. Remember, 
don't simply tap your skill, always aim your skill first and then cast it properly. Before taking the turtle, I want to make sure the enemies aren't near me, but since my teammate decided to help me taking the turtle, I didn't have to worry about the enemies stealing our objective. Here, instead of me aiming my ult towards the enemy sun, I decided to prioritize to kill the fighter Fulvius instead. Harley can easily kill any squishy heroes as long as you ult the correct target and you properly aim his first skill properly, then you can easily kill them. And what makes Harley a deadly hero is that Harley's second skill can easily make Harley a mobile hero, which makes Harley can travel to any location very quickly. That was kind of a risky play there, because Vale could have easily got me there. Vale's second skill can easily CC you. If I had a low HP, and also if he used his ult, I would have easily died there for sure. But I was confident that I could easily kill him, because he already used his ult earlier. That's why I decided to take the chance to kill him. Remember, always try your best to pay attention on the enemy skills as well, either they use their skills or not.
Remember, when playing Harley, use your advantage to torment the opposite team. His skills cooldown is really short, so as well his ult. Take the opportunity to play aggressively towards the enemies with him. Don't be too afraid to play him. Harley is a mage hero who is meant to be played like this. Try your best to take advantage of it. Here, I saw the enemy Leslie pushing the top lane. She have now chosen death. She thought she could easily get away. Unfortunately for her, I was able to pay attention on the map very well. Very unlucky this marksman. By the way, the enemy's son was also hiding in the bush as well. So I was fully prepared with my first skill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, consider to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also, hit that notification bell button for more videos. So hopefully more of my videos will get recommended for more new inexperienced players. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye bye.